Oh, hi, this is Craxy yeah. for Back Facts. Yeah. Okay. Today we are going oh, to compare a T-Rex and skeletal yeah. system to ours. <laughs> I'm here to see Dr. Runyon. He's an upper okay. cervical chiropractor. We are in the nervous system. This tiny thing right here, that's the brain. This is its spinal cord. This big cord along its spine. This is its spine right here. We are now at Dr. Runyon's office. I never know when it's a holiday. I think it's huge. And it has seven bones just like ours. A goose. A goose. A goose. A goose. All right, good job. I just thought it was mine for a minute. There you go. So that is what Keegan's looks like. Which one is it? And the red line. Is what it looked like the first time. It's pretty good today. The green one's now. It's pretty okay. straight. Okay. All yeah. the green today is yes. all yes. green. It's completely green. No, one red bit. Mine is Mine with yellow. No, no, one yellow. So, what does mine look like? It's got a little curve at the top. Yeah. But from here down, it's pretty straight. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Almost all green. You got one more spot up there, but it's way better than it was when you started. Yeah, my neck did pop today. Your central nervous system controls everything in your body. Basically, that means your brain and your brain stem tell your body what to do. This is a model of the back of the head and the top three vertebrae in the neck. Your brain sits up here in your head, and then your brain stem comes off the bottom of it, and it comes down to somewhere between C1 and C2. The brain and the brain stem are pretty much responsible for keeping you alive. Now, they do that by sending messages from the brain and the brain stem down your spinal cord and out to every single part of your body. But when one of these top two bones in your neck moves out of place, that opening gets smaller, and that's where the brain stem is. So it's almost like putting a kink in a garden hose. Part of that nerve flow gets cut off. So my job as an upper cervical chiropractor is to figure out when that bone's out of place and when there's a pressure on the brain stem. And that's the scanner we use to do that. So when it's out of place, I give you an adjustment to move that top bone back into place that unkinks that garden hose or gets that pressure off the brain stem and it turns that full amount of nerve flow onto the body. And once that nerve flow is restored, your body actually begins to heal itself. And it does that with that power that God put in your body. He designed us to be healthy, but sometimes things happen. We have problems and we grow sickness and disease. But by restoring that nerve flow, that turns that power that he put in our body all the way back up. And when that power is turned all the way back up, our bodies work the way that God intended for them to. That was really cool. Thank you. Do you like upper cervical chiropractic? Yeah. Paxson, what did you have to do all the time before you started getting adjusted? I had to, I had to take breathing treatments, right? Yeah. How often did you have to take them? A, a lot. Do you have to take them anymore? No. When did Very you rarely. Them? Very rarely. He was having to take them so often that he had to keep a I second nebulizer at the school. I don't know. He's having to take them at school. Then I think since he started no. getting adjusted, there have been maybe one or two times he's been sick enough to me no. that, and those are when we were all no. sick. So these adjustments have really helped you. Yeah. So do Absolutely. you think when you grow up that you're going to be an upper cervical chiropractor? I don't know. I think you should. I certainly know I am. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, hey, That's hey. what I like to hear. 
Future of Circle Chiropractor is ready to change the world. Yeah, I'm, I think we're thank you. You're There's welcome. There's something just like that scanner at home that I used to play chiropractor. What is it? It's, it's a little yeah. thing that shoots a uh, little disc. Oh, nice. It has yeah. wheels on it. It doesn't have wheels on it. It's, kind of, it, it's, it's shaped very similarly to that. Now, do you adjust anyone at home? Oh, we have set things. Hey, they need to be healthy too. We had technical difficulties with the sound on the PAX cam, but asked Dr. Runyon if battles like T Rex also had Atlas and Axis. He told me that every invertebrate animal that he's seen has an Atlas and Axis. They actually have several on display in their hallway. Dr. Runyon said that God designed all of them pretty similarly. So even though he's never seen a dinosaur spy up close, he assumes that they had an atlas and axis like we do. But we also found this picture of a dinosaur skeleton that shows the atlas and axis. We hope you've enjoyed this video. So click the like and subscribe so you don't miss out on whatever we do next. Be sure to join our mailing list too. There's a link in the description box below.